it's truly amazing to get some really good words of affirmation, particularly from family. And I remember I was talking to my dad last night and he was mentioning how proud he was of me and, and, and that he said, I'm an inspiration to him. Man, that hit me. I was like, whoa. You know, he texted and then he was like, did you get my message the other day? Because he texted a few days ago and he was like, you're an inspiration to me. I'm like, wow. Like, as much as we try to play it, downplay it, like, you know, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do, you know. All I'm doing, I'm doing it for God. You're absolutely doing what you're doing for God if that's what you're saying and that's what you're doing. But it's something when you get that affirmation. When you are doing just what you're called to do. I'm just doing what God is asking me to do. And I'm getting these positive words from people that are saying that I'm inspiring them. I'm an I'm a example. I'm an inspiration. And to hear that from my dad was, man, those are some really good words. Words of affirmation is not my love language or top love language, but it felt great to hear that. And I realized as much as I was working throughout my life, ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to make my dad proud. And mom, this is no slight against you. I always work to, to, to make you both proud or make the family proud. And our last name, you know, I wanted to uphold our last name and, and do, do the right things. Sometimes I did the wrong things, I'll be honest. But I was trying even in those moments, like, hey, I know I have to get back to doing the right things at some point in my life. I didn't know when. But 2017 was the turning point for me in that regard. But I remember when I was trying so hard to please people, or and when I'm saying people, I mean family or friends or the people around me or get their validation. It was actually doing the opposite. The more I was trying to please them and making them the focal point, that's when I was a mess. I was messing up a lot. But the moment I made the decision to please God, that's be when I became the inspiration. That's when people started using those types of words because my focus then shifted from people to him. The minute that I, I gave him all my attention, like, you know what? I've done this the, 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 the conventional way. I'm trying to please my parents. I'm trying to go the route they want me to go as far as education. I, I, I'm trying to do all these things to please people. I'm trying to please you know my girlfriends at the time. I was, you know, when I say girlfriends, I mean one at a time. But over time, I was just trying to please them. I was trying to please my friends. I was trying to please all these different people. But I, I missed out and I left out the very most important thing in my life, and that's God. The minute I put him in the center, that's when everyone is starting to benefit from what I'm allowing him to do through my life. And it's not about me. It's not about me. When people say that, I'm like, man, it's, it's all on God. But it feels good for my ears to hear that. It's like, wow, God, you're really working. Now I can actually see. And before, I was blinded by trying to do it my own way, trying to go about it my own way. Like, hey, I'm trying to, I'm trying to please this person. And we're not necessarily saying, I'm trying to please this person, but our actions are speaking that. We're trying so hard to be what they want us to be that we're falling away from what God has called us to be. And so for anyone out there that is working hard to please people, trust me, the burnout is going to happen, just to, just to let you know that. But the minute that you make the decision to please God, that's when everything will change for you. I guarantee it. I'm living proof of it. And uh, Dad, again, I, that, was, that was some really good words last night. I appreciate it. But all the glory goes to God. It's all about Him. And the minute that I focused on Him, that's when everyone else is starting to, to reap what they are perceiving as inspiration. But it's really God being the inspiration through me to be an inspiration to you.